This is Pix, Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 7, Falling Snow. Alright, so we're going to start off by wave dashing all these enemies. Let's wave dash all the way to the roof, and then jump down here, and then go to the right. We're going to be uh, seeing three yokais right here. Just quickly wave dash away from them. Stop right there. Use the match lock to take out that revenant. And right next to that revenant is a crystal yokai. So just watch out for him. And we're just going to go right here. Uh, these butterflies are the ones, they're basically are blocking that crystal wall. So destroying them is the only way of taking down that crystal wall uh, easily. So we're going to take down this uh, crystal yokai. Uh, Kekai, Carnage, Sloth, and uh, Weakness. So we're going to try quickly uh, kill it as best we can. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to try quickly <laughs> killing it as best I can. Alright, so that was it. There's going to be another Yokai that's going to be on top of that corpse. So we'll just take it out. So we're going to switch to uh, to our sword in uh, mid stance. Uh, it's the best and quicker way of taking down those crystals, uh, crystal wall. So we're just gonna wave dash to the right, wave dash to this yokai, and we're just gonna go stop right next to this tree. And as you can see, that yokai is just gonna turn around and walk away. And then we're just gonna uh, switch to our hand cannon. And this won't kill this yokai. Uh, it's just gonna at least uh, lure her to that position so that we can quickly go inside uh, dodge this revenant climb up this ladder and we're actually going to take care of this revenant right here all right so after that we're just going to loot this corpse get some uh, rifle ammunition and then there's uh, butterflies right there. Shoot that down in order to take down the crystal wall, wall that we're going to next. There's another crystal yokai. You don't have to necessarily fight him. You can just dodge your way to, to him. Uh, dodge away from him. And just uh, keep going. Loot this corpse. And you'll find some more rifle ammunition. Go to the nearest shrine to replenish your own magic or health if you have taken any damage. And then we're just going to be fighting this yokai right here. Right, and then uh, switch to mid stance and then take down this crystal. Then we switch to low stance and we're just going to pass these two remnants right here. Uh, the remnants won't come past this uh, inside this house. Uh, we're just going to wait until this uh, crystal yokai pass so that uh, right behind it is a bunch of butterflies right there. Shoot it down and then uh, switch to mist hands, take down this crystal wall. And then go back to low stance. And then to the left, uh, there's a shortcut. Just quickly wave dash because there is that. Uh, female yokai right there and then uh, this revenant take it down switch to uh, dual wielding or dual swords uh, open this gate there's gonna be another crystal yokai right there so we're just actually gonna pass him for now uh, go to the right and then there's another uh, butterflies which beyond that crystal wall is the boss uh, the boss name is Yuki Ona uh, in Japanese translated, it means Snow Woman. So, yeah, so as you see, I'm trying to uh, beat this yokai, and as you can see, he's going down and explode. The reason for that is because uh, the color of the crystal represents the element, so blue would mean water, so uh, using a blue cover your weapon in uh, water uh, will take down that yokai pretty easily. Alright, so we switch to a uh, dual sword, go to high stance. Kekai, uh, Carnage, cover your dual sword with the Fire Talisman, go inside and we're going to be fighting Snow Woman. Alright, first thing, use Sloth. 
she's going to be throwing her staff at you. Just go to the left. Use the uh, weakness. Uh, hit her with a uh, high stance, quick attack. Uh, step back. And then she'll be doing her foot stomp. Uh, use that opportunity to use water slash on her. And then uh, she's going to summon some crystals. Just run around her. Uh, so when her health is half, she's going to be pulling a attack that will go full screen. And use that to punish her with the water slash. Uh, she's going to keep doing that and then again punish her with the water slash. Uh, she'll sometimes do a, a foot stomp. But anyway, if you have done all these steps correctly, congratulations, you have beaten Snow Woman. Alright, so before ending the mission, you can check your inventory, uh, check your armor and weapon, and if you have any prestige points, you can use them. Alright, so we're going to go to uh, Blacksmith, um, replenish some ammo, buy some weapons and armor that is needed for you. Uh, if not, you can go to Disassemble, and after that go to Reforge, but if you're already comfortable with your weapon and its special effects, you don't need to disassemble and reforge. But if you found a uh, higher, uh, stronger weapon basically, if you have found a stronger weapon, but the special effects is not there, but it's on your previous weapon, um, and you have enough gold currency, you can go to the soul merge and then use that to power up your current uh, weapon to make it as strong as the weapon that, that is stronger. All right, and we're gonna go to our shrine. Uh, if you have any remaining items uh, on your inventory, you can go to the Blessing, sell for more Amarita. Uh, if not, let's go to level up, and we're going to increase our magic by 4. And then we're just going to go uh, to Ready Jutsu, and then equip uh, Water and Wind. And we're going to have Water and Wind equipped uh, to replace Fire and Lightning. And then on the next video... Uh, the mission that we're going to is called the Demon of Mount Hiei. And the boss that we're fighting is going to be called the White Tiger. Alright, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas in Falling Snow. Once again, this is on New Game Plus. So, here's how to find the first Kodama. Pretty easy. All you got to do is turn around, go to the far left, and you'll find the first Kodama hidden underneath these bushes. Alright, the next Kodama, we're just going to be wave dashing uh, again just to that house, onto the roof, and jump down this ladder. And then go to the right. And then, uh, and then it should, the next Kodama should be on your left. For the next one, it's going to be uh, past the, the first crystal wall. And then, when you go in here, immediately go to the right. And there's this Kodama. There's the Kodama. Uh, but yeah, let me take down this one eye yokai. So that the uh, Kodama won't hide. And there you go. You find the next Kodama right there. For the next good number, we're going to go to the right. Go inside here, take a right, and immediately you'll find the next good number hidden in these bushes. Alright, for the next one, I'm just going to be climbing up this ladder. And then basically we're going back to uh, the beginning of where we started our mission. And then just go uh, past the crystal wall that was right there. And then go inside this house. And then go to the right. I accidentally missed, so I don't know why. Just go to the right. And then climb up to this roof. Uh, go to the left. Go to another left. One more left, and then when you see the ladder, jump down, and then you're going up this hill, and 
unfortunately I accidentally fell off so I re not recommend doing wave dash uh, right there just run there'll be a couple of enemies right there right, the next one jump down uh, wave dash we're back at the house and then this time we're gonna go to the right Soon's we're out, go to the right again and you'll find the next code down. The next one is in the same area. It's where the uh, one giant one eye yokai is. It's going here. Just be careful, there is a crystal yokai right next to this ladder, so just be on the, uh, watch out if you want to defeat it. Uh, if not, just quickly go up here. Jump down here, just be careful right here as well. There are revenants around the area. And you'll find the next yokai. I'm sorry, find the next code Alright, and then for this one you just have to fight those butterflies that were located right there in order to take down this crystal wall. And just keep wave dashing. From there we would have to go to the right. And then we go to the right again. There is that Stonewall Yokai. Um, if you, uh, pretty easy. Just show the right gesture, uh, depending on his eyes, and just pass him, and then you'll find the final Yokai. All right, let's just uh, go into the nearest shrine. Uh, go to the blessing to our left. Hope this video has helped you out.